Hey everyone, welcome back to Omad Feast. For this episode, we will actually be featuring more home cooked goodies from the chef wifey, Chef Alain. Apart from that, we will also be featuring food that we got from Mayani.ph. Here we go. Let's start off with dessert. We're gonna have the sweetened banana uh, plantain. And later on, I will pour some cream sauce with chia seeds. For rice, uh, we have cream rice with corn and peas. And the star of the night, here we go. This is the seafood boil. It has shrimp. We still had some pavatina sausage. So we added that here. And also has some sweet potatoes. And I can't find the salmon. Where's the salmon? Somewhere there. All right, now time for the shrimp. Da, here you go. So, yung sa seafood boil actually and yan. Um, alam ko it's a cage, we use Cajun spice. So I'll actually be putting in the uh, yung recipe, the whole recipe. I'll request that from the chef. I'll start off with the shrimp. Um, dalaway ako as usual. Mm. So actually, the shrimp we also got from Ayani.ph. Um, at first, I thought they only sold veggies, but apparently, so they also have um, shrimps, they have young rice, we also got it from them. Um, so I'll try that now. I don't know if it's the first time ko lang ulit kumain ng white rice in a long time because we've been eating brown rice, pero panalo yung rice nila. Buo yung, buo yung rice, right amount of stickiness. Kala mo talagang fresh yung shrimp nila. Panalo. So yeah, this is also the sweet potato. We also got it from Miami. It's actually my first time trying it here because I usually like sweet potato. Ano lang, kamote kyu. Kamote kyu is enough for me. We'll see with the Cajun spices. Hmm? Sure. So yung sweetness, 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 sweetness niya. Sakto with the ano, medyo nako contrast with the other spices naks. Parang reviewer na reviewer ano. Bas masarap siya. You can also buy corn from Mayani. The problem is that we didn't select So, our bad. Because we were doing that at night. So, from the convenience of your home, sa gabi, pwede ka mag-order. Yung nga lang, dahil gabi na medyo inaantok na hindi na select na maayos. Nakalimutan ng corn. Pero still, uh, masarap pa rin. It, it still came out nice. But, you will probably see it in the recipe na may corn siya. Mm. Okay, this time naman yung salt. Salmon. Hindi daw salmon. Salmon. So, shellfish, crab, mussels. Since we don't have those, sinubukan ni, ni Chef ng salmon. Actually, mas gusto ko nga siya. Kasi, mas madaling kainin kasi sa mga crab and shellfish. Kasi magbabalat ka pa. Okay. I don't need to review this, but I'll talk about it still. The flexibility of this pamatay na sausage is awesome. It also goes well with the seafood boil. Kaling no, by itself okay siya, with some veggies okay siya. So that's why we always have uh, stocks up uh, at home of these pamatay na sausage. Alright, so I will just continue eating my meal in a bit. Uh, I'll also show you the sweetened banana saba. Mas pwede ko masasap siya with plain rice. Actually, dip this in butter and garlic sauce with sambal. All right. Although I love the rice, mas masarap siya with plain rice because in seafood boil with all the Cajun spices, it's so flavorful. And then, parang sayang yung flavor ng seafood boil kung lalagyan mo pa siya ng ibang lasa with the rice. So kung plain rice and seafood boil, panalo siya. Panalo with the butter and garlic sauce. Do we try? All right, <laughs> time for dessert. So I'll just try this first. The banana lang with the uh, melted sugar. Can't really say much, right? It's always good, and but the banana is really fresh, so that's good. Ah, the cream sauce with chia seeds. All right. Ooh. 
yummy. Very good. Alright, thanks again for watching and see you again next time. Okay, so I will be featuring more products, more ingredients from Mayani. Don't worry, this was actually shot on another day. So at this point, I'm going to show you all the other dishes that the chef wifey was able to prepare using all the Mayani ingredients. All right, so let me now show you the Mayani feast. So here's the complete spread today. So here we go. This is the squash soup salsa. Um, kasama na ng onion and chili. Um, here we go. This is the honey calamansi salad. Um, you got the lettuce and also the tomato from Mayani. Awesome. Papaya naman for dessert. And for me, the star dessert. See, leche flan. Also from Mayani. Ito naman, um, para lang hindi ako all veggies. Here we go. There's longanisa over your rice. Last one, gourmet toyo. So, are you ready? Okay, I'll start with the squash soup. So it's really fresh. We know that the squash is a good quality we got because even without adding any flour, the soup is really thick by itself already. Okay? So, hmm. Panala siya. Salad now. Um, as you might know, I'm not that big of a salad guy, so it really does take some fresh veggies to, to make me happy. No. Wow, well, it's fresh because it's crunchy. And the tomato is really juicy. I actually had it by itself earlier. And it was also sweet. Um, so even without the, without the dressing, you already get a very sweet and plump tomato. Alright, and this one, we got this actually as part of a Christmas basket from our friends, Sina Noel and Sasha Del Castillo. Uh, my co-founder is also in a, in a startup. Um, as you can see, actually, pa ubus na siya. It's you know, I've had this a couple of times. Nanit's gourmet toyo, and dude, panalo siya. I love it, and it goes well with the egg. So let me now show you the longanisa. Here you go. So this is the best way to eat it with rice, with egg, and then you put the salsa with the longanisa. Kita ba? Yeah. So there you go. Okay, um, disclaimer lang. This is just me showing you everything, but usually I just like put them all inside my mouth and let it marinate there. I'm tired. Wow. Another. So this is longanisa togigarao. Here in the Philippines, there are so many different variations of longanisa. Longanisa togigarao is the one that's kind of garlicky. That's why it is perfect. This it is perfect with the salsa so it kind of blends well with all the um the saltiness of of it i really love about this particular longanisa is how sick sick the meat is right in fact just one bite although i showed you earlier is some bite like with the rice that's it's just for show guys one bite here one small bite i can finish about five spoonfuls of rice right it's that flavorful and that good Dessert number one, papaya. Mm. It's not overly sweet. It's just right for me. The lovely thing about them was that the wifey actually asked them to deliver green papaya because I really do not like mga overripe papaya. You know, those, those that are a little bit too wet and soggy already. It's really easy to talk to them. Just, you know, when you, you make your order, send that message to them, tell them like, hey, give me a green papaya so that because I'm not going to eat it right away and yeah great customer service and now the final dessert the final dessert talaga so this is the leche flan from Mayani and so now you know they don't just sell fresh produce they also have these ready to eat and other packed food what they did last time they're really smart was to give this as a freebie on our first order it was so smooth and creamy and you just know it is made of pure egg yolk. They didn't skip on this, they didn't add any egg whites or anything. 
so good. Plus, for me, it's just the right amount of sweetness, perfect with my coffee. So, very smart one, Miami people. You gave this for free, and now we're hooked. Definitely, we will be ordering more from you, and always with Leche Flan. Kita kits alat sa next lamon natin. See you.